I'm Tyler Stewart with Sotheby's International Realty. And last time we left off at 514 Bonita, I told you I was gonna get my hands dirty. Well, at this point in the construction process, I actually feel like I'm standing on a mountain of concrete. Come on in, I'll show you what we've been up to. Caution, you're about to enter a real construction zone. So we've done a lot of work here since the last time you were here. We're gonna start upstairs because we haven't done a ton of work up here. But last time you were here, we had all the walls up, dirty kitchen, dirty carpet, nastiness everywhere. Basically all we did up here was take everything down to the skeleton. And the reason we did that is because I told you we were gonna hydraulically lift the house. Well the lath and plaster walls create structure to the house. So as we lift it, we wouldn't have gotten as level of a lift if we had had all the walls. Now, what I'd also like to tell you is that when we took down the walls, there was a lot of work involved. I might have used a hammer, I might have used a mallet, but I did have a little help from some of my friends. And some of them are downstairs right now working on the, on the foundation, so I want to take you down to meet them and show you what we've been doing. And these are my friends. Sammy, Freddie Jr., and Freddie. Now when I'm not working hard with my hammer and my mallet, these guys are holding down the fort. And today, we're working on the foundation. So let me walk you through what we're doing. So this is called cribbing. Yes, cribbing. C-R-I-B-B-I-N-G. Last time we were here, this was a dungeon. Now, this whole house is being held up by this cribbing and these steel beams. You should have seen them jack this house up. So after we jacked the house up, I think it's sitting about two to three feet higher than it was originally. We demoed all the walls and then became the process of digging out all this dirt. Again, I don't remember if you guys remember what this place looked like, but it was shallow, it was dark, it was probably only about six feet in ceiling height in a lot of places. And now you can see we're way up there. So after everything was dug out, we had to bury all the sewer pipes. So all our sewer pipes are in, all the dirt has been dug out, and what we're, what we're doing now that you'll see around the outside perimeter of this is we're creating the structure in order to pour the footings and the concrete slab that will make our foundation. The most exciting part of this foundation is actually what's happening at the back side of the house with Sammy, Freddie, and Freddie Jr. right now. And I'm gonna show you what we had to do to make sure that this house was built as solidly as possible. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. Work, 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 work. On a hillside lot, you have to be really cognizant of your foundation and what's gonna actually hold the bottom end of the house, the lowest portion of the house. So what we had to design here, the structural engineer designed, was six piers that are on the back end or the lowest part of the house. These piers all differ in depth, anywhere from 12 feet to 23 feet deep. And what you'll see with these piers, let me explain these piers to you. So this right here is a 20 foot deep hole. These guys came in with a hydraulic drill and dug 25 foot holes. We then had these steel cages built exactly for these holes. The cages go into the hole with all this rebar that comes out of it. And then they pour concrete 25 feet deep into the earth, which then creates the structure for our perimeter wall of the foundation. So think about it, we've got six holes along here that are 25 feet deep, full of concrete. And this is gonna tie in to our perimeter foundation. So what's next? We finish off this framing, which will create the structure for our concrete foundation to go up against. And before we pour the concrete, the most important part is waterproofing. So we'll start with three inches of gravel, which will be brought down here by hand, unfortunately. Not these hands, thank God. 
three inches of gravel, then we put a 10 millimeter waterproof plastic lining all the way up the walls, all the way under what will be the foundation. Then we go two inches of sand, and then we get the big concrete trucks in here, and they'll come, and in one day, they will drop down all the concrete for this entire foundation. After that, we go to framing. So the next time we're here, you're gonna see a brand new foundation and the entire place will be framed out and you'll be able to start seeing what this place is truly gonna be. So as you can see, lots of progress has been made, but we got a long way to go, especially before my July 1st deadline. So let's do this. Whoa.